Welcome to the hub of analytics education, preparing students for the future millions of records at a time. The hub of analytics education is located in Boston, Massachusetts. Hi, my name is Bill Goldman. I'm one of the co-founders of the hub of analytics education. For today's video, we're going to be utilizing Tableau. Tableau is a business intelligence tool that specializes in visualization. Tableau is used by analysts and managers across industries, including, but not limited to, financial services, consumer products, technology, and entertainment. Once you have your desktop copy of Tableau and the sales file from the Hub of Analytics Education, we're set to begin. The objectives of this video are, one, to link files, two, creating new variables within Tableau, and three, saving our file as a TWBX file in order to facilitate the sharing process. Welcome everyone. In this video, we're going to discuss creating a calculated field. So we've worked hard to load data, or Tableau's worked hard to load data, and to do the visualizations. It's been fairly easy for us. But now what we want to do is we want to do a slightly different analysis, where our analysis might be dependent upon our data set, but the calculation isn't already in our data. So we have to create a calculated field. For example, I'm going to open up a, a new worksheet here. Let's say that I want to create the cost of goods sold variable. So what we're going to do, if we go up to analysis, we're going to go to create calculated field. And we're going to call this cost of goods sold. So remember, our cost of goods sold is the inventory, the quantity of inventory that we sell, multiplied by the amount it costs us to buy it. So in this case, if we take our sales quantity and we multiply by our purchase price, we should go ahead and make sure that's a valid calculation, which tells us the bottom. We click OK. And now we can go ahead and drag that cost of goods sold calculation. into our table and we can see that based on this information and this current data set, we had cost of goods sold of approximately $303 million. If for some reason you made a mistake, you can always go back into your calculation by using the drop down arrow and say, edit and your, your calculated field comes up and you can go ahead and redo your calculated field. But this is very, very handy if you're trying to do a data manipulation. So please get used to using the analysis tab and create a calculated field. I hope you found this helpful. In our next video, I'm going to discuss creating stories uh, using worksheets, dashboards, and storylines. Thanks for watching the Hub of Analytics Education video series. The Hub of Analytics Education provides open educational resources to educators around the globe, supporting both higher education and secondary education. For more information, please visit our website at hubae.org.